Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of the Google Chrome web browser for desktop, which did roll out a day or so ago. So um, if you haven't noticed already, um, Google has been Google Chrome has been updated to version 112, which is the latest release. Now, um, with this release, um, there's actually not too much going on when it comes to front-facing features, as I did post on uh, when it was still uh, in preview, when uh, we received the early stable release of Google Chrome version 112. Most of the changes and improvements are going on behind the hood and um, behind the scenes, so to speak. So um, not really too much of interest when it comes to your everyday user, but there are one or two um, little adjustments that have been made to the browser, which we will take a look at shortly. Now, um, because this is a major uh, version upgrade, um, we always get the security updates that do roll out. So it's always important to double check your browser uh, is up to date, as many of you will know. And the latest version in build now is 112.0.5615.50. And uh, um, if you are using Windows, that will be um, 0.49 or 0.50. And if you are running Linux and Mac, um, 49. So the point release will be either 0.49 or 0.50. Now, um, when it comes to security fixes, uh, there are quite a few rolling out. 16. Um, there's nothing that's exploited in the wild, so there's no zero days. And um, although there's 16 um, security vulnerabilities that have been addressed with this latest update, um, only two of them are high-risk vulnerabilities, which is your second highest after a critical. And um, just to mention those um, vulnerabilities, that's heap buffer overflow and use after free, which are common in the um, Chromium web browsers. So um, your browser is your first line of defense, as I always say. So double check it's up to date. Um, 16 security fixes, two high risk vulnerabilities have been addressed. Now, and um, with the security side of things out the way, um, although there's no fr major front facing features that have rolled out due to the shorter four week release cycle with Google Chrome version 112, um, if we head up to the sidebar, you may notice that Journeys has been added now to the drop-down menu. We previously had Reading List, um, Bookmarks, and now we get Journeys. And basically, um, I, did a, I cleared my history um, a, a little bit earlier today. That's why you're not seeing anything in my Journeys. But um, your Journeys basically groups your browsing history into different categories. So it finds, you, you can find different topics easier when it comes to checking back on your browsing history. So that's now part of the site panel in the um, drop-down menu. And then something else to take note of if you are using PWAs, Progressive Web Apps, if we head up to the Apps page, you will notice there's a bit of a visual redesign when it comes to uh, material view changes. And the apps now have um, received a basically a rounded look. And I actually posted on this as a flag you could enable uh, in Chrome Canary, which is a preview version of the browser, but nonetheless, um, this has made it now to the stable version. And um, the only difference between how this looks in Canary and the stable is that the apps are a little bit smaller. Those round That rounded look is a lot smaller to how it currently is in the stable version. But this is part of the um, what I have been posting on for quite a couple of months now, the visual redesign of Chrome, um, which is rolling out um, progressively over this year, 2023, which is called the Chrome Refresh. And if you want any more info regarding the Chrome Refresh, where we are expecting to see more rounded corners and material U changes, and then just do a search on the channel. But this is what we would call part of that. Um, Google rolling out a little bit more material U changes, which we can see now uh, in the uh, in and on the apps page when it comes to those uh, web apps. They've got a bit of a more material you what I would call fluent design. And then um, over and above that, um, there's actually not much else to tell you about. Um, that's it for Chrome version 112. Just at heart, really, just an important security update that's rolled out, as always. And then there are a couple of bug fixes. Um, Google has mentioned some uh, bug fixes, but they're not giving us any details of what exactly those bug fixes are all about. And, uh, and that's quite common when they do roll out major version upgrades. But nonetheless, if you have experienced any problems when it comes to performance, stability, or bugs, double check your browsers up to date as it might address those issues. And when it comes to security as well, 16 security fixes, and then just those other two changes. Um, I've noticed journeys now in the side panel and um, the material you changes to the apps on the apps page. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.